1964, the U.S. government constructed Interstate 40 in California, parallel to the historic Route 66. But during the building of this highway, they made a fatal mistake that cost over $2 million and forced them to construct the longest highway in America. Before I get into this video though, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. I've decided to set a goal for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. There's no way this happens, but just because of the possibility that it could happen, I want to set that goal for myself because I think I can do it. So if you would help me get there, it would mean the world to me. Thank you. So to talk about this, we need to go all the way back to 1955 and talk about Margaret Orcutt. Now there are no pictures of her on the internet, but there are records of who she was and what she did. So apparently back in 1955, she resided right on Route 66 and sold building materials to travelers on the road. It's important that I say that, because if she lost that connection to Route 66, she would have nobody to sell to. So now let's move to 1964, nine years later. At this point, Interstate 40 is being planned out by government surveyors. And as all of you know, the U.S. government is not the best thing in the world at this kind of stuff. So they mistakenly put the future Interstate 40 straight through Mrs. Orcutt's driveway. Now normally this is not a worry for the government, but she needed that connection to Route 66 for the sake of her business and livelihood. So seeing a massive interstate going right through her driveway, making it impossible for her to sell goods to travelers on Route 66, was not okay. But this was obviously not a big deal for the U.S. government. They've dealt with people complaining and protesting their road system before, and there's always an answer to this. That being money. Buying out her land would be by far the easiest way for the government to go on with their day after relatively no trouble. So they offered her what would be $900,000 today for her 100 acres of land in the desert. Now this would be an easy decision for basically anybody in the world. 900 k would be enough to buy a massive house anywhere in the United States and start completely new somewhere not in the middle of the desert in California. I sure know I would take this offer in a minute. But obviously I wouldn't be making this video if she accepted the US government's $900,000 buyout request. So in 1964, Mrs. Orcutt denied the request and protested the decision to build a road straight through her driveway. Apparently she didn't want to move, at the age of 55, to a new area, and wanted to stay in her home right on Route 66. Now the US government may be cruel in some ways, but if you find the right people, you can get some empathy and a few people that actually want to help. And I guess Mrs. Orcutt did just that, because somebody in the government decided that they felt bad for her and convinced the Federal Highway Administration to connect her back up to the road system by building a new driveway. Now this also sounded simple for the government, and I can only assume whoever approved this had no idea how difficult it would be to create. Because to connect Mrs. Orcutt's house back to the highway, they had two choices. Either build a completely new exit for her driveway with no other purpose at all, or build a four mile paved driveway all the way to the nearest exit. Both of these options would cost a dump truck of money to build, far more than they offered to buy the property for. But because of Mrs. Orcutt, they were forced to build a four mile driveway, an almost complete straight shot to the nearest exit in Newberry Springs. This would cost the government over $2 million to build and create an almost completely useless road, and it was basically unused for the next six years. But in the 1970s, the road started to be used by more people for a very different reason. See, at this time, renting out a spot to test your car speeds was difficult and expensive. So when a guy found an unused road that was four miles long and completely straight, he was absolutely stoked. He tried it out for himself and then went and told all his friends to come try out the new road he found. Of course, this was illegal because the road was federally owned and had a speed limit of 55, but no police enforced it. And soon enough, Mrs. Orcutt's driveway was being used by many different parties and groups to test out their vehicle speeds. Around this time, there are multiple instances of Mrs. Orcutt chasing off drivers from her driveway with a shotgun. So obviously, she didn't approve of it being used in this way. But that didn't stop anyone. Racers would use it extensively, reaching speeds of over 200 miles per hour regularly. It was deemed one of the 10 best places on earth to drive your car as fast as possible with no repercussions. But as I stated, the road was built in 1964, and there was no reason to repave it and keep it in good condition. So as racers used it more and more, it began to deteriorate, sadly making it not as ideal for using because of how dangerous it was. After all, loose gravel can be dangerous when you're going over 200 miles per hour. So slowly, it was used less and less. Around this time, Mrs. Orcutt sadly passed away at the age of 77. Her house came right after her because absolutely nobody wanted to live there. If we jump to present day, it's not what it used to be. There's Street View from 2012 showing the road with no center lines, completely worn out and in bad condition. There are other current pictures showing the state of the driveway, now referred to as Memorial Drive. Racing is still a thing on the road, but now there's a limit of 150 miles per hour because anything higher would be dangerous and could cause a crash. Someone went to Mrs. Orcutt's house very recently, showing it in 
and complete ruin, which is kind of a bummer, but obviously expected. This happened 58 years ago, and the story is slowly being lost to history. I hope this video can keep the story alive for a little longer, but come 50 years from now, Mrs. Orcutt's driveway will likely be forgotten. Thanks for watching.